Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is your Monday edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs. And we're starting with Hung Min Son, who I thought had a great game yesterday. He was on the ball, that dribble was Ricky Villiers-esque, but he's talked today in the Daily Telegraph about he's angry, and the, the team are angry, angry to have gone out of the cup, but he's also given a little caveat. He thinks that it could help us in the long run in, in terms of how far we could go in the league this season, how high we can get, and how far we can go in the Europa League. He also talked a little bit about his own form. He says, and I quote, I have to be more. I know I can play much better and I can score more goals. Well, that's good to hear from you, Hung Min Son. I personally felt when he first came into the team at the beginning of the season, he looked super dangerous, getting into really excellent pockets of space, doing things that maybe Lamella couldn't do in terms of uh, pace, whereas Lamella is a bit more of a physical, trickery kind of player. And then Son unfortunately had that injury and since then he hasn't quite been the same level. But I noticed sparks of it yesterday against Palace when he was picking up the ball deep and running at the opposition. I think he brings us an element of pace there that I like about him. So hopefully his form will continue to rise. I like his comments there, that's good. Second bit of news, a bit of one from the old school here. Those, a lot of you may not remember, might be a bit young, but Gianluca Vialli, an absolute legend for both Juventus and Italy, and unfortunately Chelsea, because he used to be the manager there, it's come out this uh, over the last weekend that he once turned down the opportunity to manage Tottenham Hotspur. His longtime assistant manager, Ray Wilkins, said this. He said, we had just finished a game of golf and Gianluca was asked on the phone to take Tottenham over the week before they played Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final. But he wouldn't take it halfway through the season. Now, how do I feel about this? Now, Viali actually did a great job at Chelsea, uh, but us taking Chelsea managers, it hasn't really worked. This was way pre, pre the time we took Andre Villas-Boas, but it hasn't really worked, and I think it would have been VR, difficult for Viali to make it happen at Spurs, especially in those days where we weren't quite as good on the business side of the club. He went on after Chelsea to manage Watford, also in London, obviously. Didn't do a great job there, and he hasn't managed since. So I have to say, even though this is interesting news, and I hadn't heard this before, and he is a kind of legend of Italian football, and a lovely guy, I'm pretty glad he never took over as Spurs manager. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of those bits of news in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter, at SpurredOnTV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys, Barnaby for Spurred on Outside the Lane. We've just lost 1-0 to Crystal Palace in the FA Cup.